Hello and welcome to the Overshadow Cast. My brain just froze. I thought I would try combining them a bit differently. <laughs> no, genuinely, overshadow- there was- Sorry. Yeah, and you go. No, I was just like, did he say the right thing? What is yeah. that? What is it called? I overshadow couldn't. Shadow Cast. It sounds okay, but I wanted to try the Overshadow Cast. I thought you just I don't said know over- how it works. Just show it overcast, much like the weather in Scotland. Welcome to the Shadow Cast. <laughs> hello. Yes, hello. Hello. How do I sound, by the way? You sound fine. Okay. I thought we are recording. Yeah, I know, but I just wanted to check. Okay. I'm always thinking about myself. You want, you want, to, you want to double check while we're recording this for everybody. Yeah, just let all the people at home know exactly how obsessed I am with myself. I know. Oh, I don't think they don't. They, seeing as how most of our subscribers are people that know you, I think they they know full well. Yes, but you can never know too much about my greatness. Yes, you can. No, I know everything about my greatness, and it is part of my greatness. I bring you all closer to greatness. I'll bring us closer to madness. Two sides of the same coin. Madness and greatness. And that coin is my mind. Spinning in the dark. I found, well not me, but my (laughs) mum found an old Christmas card of mine and it had £20 in it. I was like, oh yay, and then I realised it was like the old notes and I'm like, oh I don't know if they still change them. Oh yeah, the bank have to accept them. Yay, and then I'm £20 richer. Mm, if you can take it to a bank, that is. Yeah, we've got a bank still in the town. Yeah, we'll just get one of those wee envelopes, put it inside that and go... No, I just hand it over and go, can, can I get real money now? Can, does this work? Is, uh, uh, I have some money, please. Um, that's not how a bank works. You can't just come up and take money. I just have some money, please. No, I'd like to exchange the old notes for new notes. No, you, so you, sorry, madam, you need you need to have a, a a bank account with us so that we can then withdraw from your account. <laughs> we don't just give out money. No, I'll have some money, please. Thank you. <laughs> I saw I saw Ricky Gervais do this in one of his movies. I'll have some money, thank you. What movie was that? Invention of Lying. He makes up how much yes. money he has in his account. Oh yeah, that's right. That was a good movie. Eight hundred dollars. Huh. Strange. Our system just came back online. It says you have three hundred. Oh, oh, we'll just uh, get that problem fixed. Here's your eight hundred dollars. Oh, thank you very much. That was a good movie. Mm. It was actually surprisingly, surprisingly good. I don't think it got the 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 uh, recognition. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. The, the the lauding that it deserved. I thought it was better than than people understood. That was a really good. Anyway, what the hell, what are we doing? Right, come on. We talk about games. What, what? <laughs> Unless you're raising a baby, I don't care. Let's go. Okay. So anyway, welcome back, everybody. Playing? I have just been using the Zombies Run app. Right, no, that's, that doesn't count as a game anymore. It does. You all the t- no, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. It, it no, does. A Wii game. Were you holding a Wii remote while running down the street? No. Nobody so used. Game. When was the last time anybody used a Wii remote? Actually, you can play some games on like the Wii U or, or the Switch in which you needed to use them at. I'm not sure about Nintendo's backwards compatibility, but I think some games can still be played where you need them. And also, you've got to remember, like 400 billion copies of the, I the Wii was were sold to people who using were in Zombies 60s. Run. My auntie's Wii is still sitting It's getting good. The game's getting good. There's a bit of a mystery. There's more of a mystery now. Okay, right. Yeah, excellent. Great. Let's move on to talk about me now. Oh. It's not a game. It is. You pick stuff up and there's also like a little, not so much, it's like a Farmville type of thing where you can like build a village as well. Does it tell you that it can speed up what you're doing by taking money? If you pay for special magic coins, everything can go faster. I don't know. I've not yeah. been utilizing that bit. Yeah, so it's there. So yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a, sh- it's a sham. It's, a, it's just, it's a shilly sham. You know why I've not been playing that much this week. So I've been trying to sort stuff out for school and raining. things. No, because it's school. It's in your soul. Yeah, you've made me sad now. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you have. No, you've hurt everybody my feelings. You. No, everybody. I'm telling you. I'm gonna right. go sleep now. Good night. Ev- everybody. Good night. Everybody. <laughs> everybody who knows you. Thinks yeah. Abigail's sad without my help. <laughs> That's a cheery note. <laughs> everybody I know thinks you're sad without my help at all yeah, they just look at you and it's like going. watching Eeyore it's just, no no I meant sad as in sad not sad I've got an Eeyore mug also the attention span of a dead fly <laughs> right come on goldfish lady what have, you, what, have you, what have you actually been playing just that 
that's not that just say nothing then that doesn't nothing count i've not i've not nothing. been I've, I've only been i've only you know why i've i've been you have forsaken I've been your busy. xbox you have forsaken your pc no i've not forsaken my xbox i've been super busy you've been forsaken your pc forsaker i'm sad now again heretic don't you mean heretic heretic, heretic not he hectic heretic that's what i said i said heretic just in a funny voice heretic I was baking all day Friday. I couldn't play games. Why were you baking and not playing games? So it was for a birthday. And it looked amazing. It was an amazing cake. Was you it so nice? It was. It was really nice. Very okay. sweet, though. I regretted eating as much as I did. Okay. Well, that sounds lovely. Okay, what have you been playing? As I've, as I've disappointed you. Video game. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Video games. Oh, you're crazy. Video games. Okay, well, what video games have you been playing? It's a new game from Ubisoft. I think you cut out at the beginning of that sentence. You're going to have to say that again. No, I didn't. I, I, I just went, Ugh, and then said, it's a new game by Ubisoft. It was a joke. Why are you saying Ubisoft? I know, that's part of the joke. Okay. Um, I didn't say it was a really good joke. I've been playing quite a few things, because um, Mind Blood Death has had some time off, and so I've been playing... Ooh, let's see the whole list. Uh, okay, Payday 2. Uh, no, actually, hold on. I'll just go through them one at a time. I won't give you the list and then go back. I'll go through them one at a time. So Payday 2, we thought we'd try that. Uh, so we did. <laughs> we uh, thought next, we'd try it. Uh, <laughs> so we did. So it's a, it's a heist game, basically. You get uh, That cup of heist. tea looks good, so I, think I'd, so I thought I'd drink it. And I did. That cake uh, looks good. Was, yeah. So I ate so it. The tea, the tea was drunk and the cake was eaten. And, that pie uh, looks good, so I ate it. How hungry are you? That car looks cool, so I stole it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, that's where we're getting close. Payday two. Um, it's just a heist. You you just you appear on foot near the building you're going to rob. Everything's been set up for you, and you go in and rob it. You got a guy in your ear telling you what to do, and you work in a team of four. Um, we played the online um, heist. Uh, I picked the, one of the easiest ones I could, and uh, it was a stealth heist. Um, so we played it. Uh, trying to be a stealth heist we figured out what the buttons were and you go in and you, your whole idea is that you can if it's a a shitty shitty heist or the alarm goes off you can kill everybody you've got guns but if not you can sneak up behind them and you can zip tie them and knock them out and so if it's a stealth heist you can just get in and do all the stealth thing so i picked a stealth heist thinking oh this could be quite fun yeah unfortunately brian while figuring out what the buttons were figured out what the hand grenade button was so just as i was about to slowly pick the front door lock, Brian lobs a grenade through the window. <laughs> so yeah, we're trying to play stealthy and he throws a grenade through the window and just goes, I'm just trying to find out where the buttons are. Chucks a grenade through the window, which blows up. And then it, all you saw was like 12 alarm symbols go off and then like the police turned up and started opening fire on us. So we killed about 400 people. And that's not a joke, by the way. The police keep pouring in until you leave the area. They don't stop coming in. Jeez, oh. So we we killed like... 100 or 200 police officers because he threw a grenade through the window by mistake but yeah so, so the whole idea is you've got like um sometimes you'll have a lock in the way so you'll have an automatic drill that you'll put on the door lock and it'll it'll cut through the door but you need to give it like a couple of minutes to do that like i think it's like three or four minutes 200 seconds or something like that but you have to keep going back to reactivate the drill because it keeps overheating yeah um, and then what you do is you put the money, or in this case it was paintings, you take a painting and you run it to your van and you lob it in the van and then you go back and get more. Um, yeah. There's six paintings in this, so obviously you can't, well, even if you've got a full company of four people, you can't carry them all in one go. So the whole idea is that you're stealthy about it, so you can keep going back in and out. But obviously because we had, you know, Grenade Gate, we, um, we couldn't do that. Gate. So Exclusive. So we, um, we had to go in and uh, gun everybody down and go back in and gun everybody down and go because it was only two of us so we had two ai with us doing fighting they're actually reasonably competent at fighting the problem is that um they can't do anything else they can't hack a door they can't drill a door they can't they, they, they can't bag money up or take paintings down and go they, they, they don't do any of that so it slows it down a bit yeah but i was thinking that at some point you know i don't know if we'd record or not but it'd be interesting if um me uh, if 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 Bampot Bandit, uh, yourself and I tried that, you know, similarly to how we're going to be trying some GTA yeah. stuff. Well, we don't have to record like loads of episodes. We could just record one or two, like most people do. 
they give the oh, viewers well, a yeah, taster of what the game well, is. Yes, because this game has quite a few heists, and it's not necessarily a story mode we would be playing. So it, it's not it's not like GTA, which is only a few heists in a story sequence that you can play. So um, yeah, yeah, I, I understand game. that completely. Next game, next but, game. Um, what else have you been playing? I just wanted to say also that the cops are quite difficult because they they they. They're quite easy to kill on the very easy difficulty, but it looks like there's a very great range of difficulties, so it gently welcomes you into the game. But if you threw a grenade by mistake on the higher difficulty, you'd be dead. But they've got all sorts of different types of police officers. So they had a sniper, they had a regular guy with a machine gun, and they had a guy with a, a, sh a combat shield. So you have to sneak around behind him to get him. Combat shield. And they, they, blew, they blew two holes in the wall and then started climbing in the wall. Yeah. So we were getting absolutely swamped. It was actually, it was actually kind of fun. We kind of enjoyed it. It took twenty minutes, but it was quite fun. Awesome. Um, thank you. I've continued playing Portal Bridge Constructor. I've got seven levels of that left. It's starting to get really complicated, but I'm enjoying it. I know. I know. When I was playing Portal, still alive. Uh, as much as it annoyed me at the beginning, I found it more fun when it became super challenging. But then when it became impossible, I was like, oh, this is just tedious. But you do get that like sense of real achievement when you finally figure it out. Yeah, yeah, that's sort of the same here. Uh, we also tried the because we got Game Pass. These games are on Game Pass. We tried F1 2019. So that's a uh, racing game. Yes, and you, we were able to set up our own little world in which the two of us are racing against each other and the rest of the grid. But we have had a great deal of difficulty with the game. We've never really had that race that we really, really wanted because it's really easy to spin. Ugh. And when you do, you can't quickly get it fixed. So you get overtaken by everybody else while you're trying to sort everything out that you're doing. Yeah, sorry, I keep your dig. So, oh, thanks very much. So, um, it, or, or we had to turn the rules off because it kept punishing us for cutting corners when we weren't. It's a problem that F1 games have is that they either, you're able to just cut the track and not do it properly or you make a slight error <clears throat> or anything that causes you to miss a bit of a corner and you get like a 16 pe second penalty for no reason. So I, I got a 10 second penalty for cutting a corner because some one of the AI drivers rammed me, actually literally rammed me and I spun and went flying through the corner and I missed the corner. Yeah. And I got a 10 second penalty because I got rammed. That's so, not good. Um, yeah, I was in like fourth place and the guy in fifth place pit maneuvered me. So I went through the corner backwards and it was a chicane corner. So it was like a 90 degree left-hander and then a 90 degree right-hander. So not a full chicane, but like an expanded chicane, an extended chicane. So I went through that corner backwards and I ended up sitting in front of Brian facing him on the track. And he's like, he didn't realize it was me. So he's just like, oh my God, what is happening here? Oh my God, blah, blah, blah. And then drove past. He's like, what, what's going on there? That was mental. And at the end of the race, he... I said to him, yeah, you hit me, you, you drove straight into me. And he was like, wait, that was you? <laughs> yeah, that was how, that was why I got my 10 second penalty. So we had to turn the rules off. But when it comes to the actual gameplay of F1, like the driving can actually be really satisfying. So we're, we're, we're going to keep it up and we're going to see if we can just get that race where everything comes together for us. And we get that that race where we're challenging each other at every corner. And, and it's, yeah, we're just, we're just hoping we get that at some point. But we've not had it yet. Was it Forza 6 that we played together? Yes. The one where I got bored and drove the other way around the track. Yeah, if you did that during... The, I actually got... Um, Brian spun out, so I tried to reverse up to see what was going on, and I got disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> so we had to turn the rules off. Oh. Uh, we I'm also just, played a wee bit... Yeah, sorry. sorry on you. I was just going to say, I always laugh at, at your reaction when you realised I was driving the other way, and how much you were laughing. Yeah, because like, you just went... Yeah, because you tried to ram me and missed me, so you just went zooming past me, and I'm like, no <laughs> the ultimate like i tried to when i gave up on one race because i spun for no reason it was at the back of the grid i just parked on a corner <laughs> thinking he'll ram into me try to get around the corner yeah i didn't put my car in the right place and he just went past me like, no. <laughs> we also played a bit more of gears 5 so we're on to the last act now and i have to say this about gears 5 really good way better than gears 4 the story actually makes sense and they spend more than two minutes on the dialogue and the setup. They really dig into the story. It's a proper length of game with a lot of flexibility. You can make it short or you can make it long by doing everything that's in it. There's optional stuff. It's just, it's really, really well done. It's really well balanced. I'm really enjoying it. It's that's really, good. really good. That's good. It's it's probably my favourite Gears since Gears 2. 
which is rarely it's not often someone's favorite but i really liked it i thought gears 3 was just not not up to scratch other people love it but i just don't think it's got it the writing's not fully there which is a shame because they used karen travis if memory serves and she's fantastic but it's almost as if they allowed her to set things up and then didn't let her follow through on it i just i just i feel that there was something missing from three four was just a setup for five and i can respect that but it means it's obviously not as good judgment was a nice wee thing to do but the best part of judgment was actually the aftermath part where it started to function more like a regular Gears game and was just amazing. Like, if 3 had been like Judgment, I'd have loved it. But, yeah, 5 is five is the first time in a long while that I felt like this about Gears, so it's good. It's good to have that back. Coolio. Uh, and lastly, I, I started... Uh, uh, this is a good story, right? I started playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yeah. Now, that's three games ago. There's been three know. games out. There's been three Assassin's Creed games, uh, or there's going to be three Assassin's Creed games out, right? So I'm like, I've got four to play because the last one I played was Unity, which was yeah. a bit of a disaster. But Syndicate apparently is very good, and came out in uh, 2015. Brian, Syndicate. Yeah, Syndicate came out yeah. in 2015. Yeah, so Brian played that ages ago. It came out years ago. It's really, really. It, Brian really likes it. He said he had a lot of fun with it, but don't faff about. Just play the missions that it gives you don't faff about because that's when it starts to fall apart um and it's the last one like that they've they changed up the system completely with origins it's a completely different set of games the like the, the three games after that origins odyssey and valhalla are basically like they're trying to be like the witcher 3 so they changed the system completely and he said just try and have fun with it because it's the last one like that so we put it on and you know how we've been testing out those screen share things or we're going to we're going to be because i think we finally found a way in which i can have was obviously we're all like social distancing and things like that still so we, f- we think we found a way that we can play life is strange tommy will play it but i'll watch him and we can yeah, both we- comment on it well also there'll be other things not just life is strange but that's still life is strange is going to be the one that we're going to play together and record yes right. for it is an amazing game right but we were using a sort of uh, a way of sharing the screen as well and yeah. um she he um she 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 he. Right. They. Um, he she. Uh, he she is he she. Not what are you trying to or... say? Anyway, he uh, he wanted to see me play the start, so we put on the start, and um, it's actually the first time in a long time I've felt like when we make gameplay videos, I will eventually be good at it because I was just That's ripping cool. into that game, and it was so much fun, like in a really nice way, because it was it was teaching me the climbing mechanics, right? Yeah. And I um, I dropped down right in front of this guy who didn't react at all to me just falling three, like landing three centimeters from his nose and just staring at him. He didn't move at all. Normally they go, oh my God, what are you doing? Uh, but he didn't move. I was just like, all right, mate, how are you doing? And uh, I, I panned the camera around just to face the way I was going. And I realized that he wasn't actually leaning on the wall. He was sort of leaning on a pocket of air between him and the wall. He wasn't touching the wall. He was just sort of <laughs> leaning on magic. And I just started ripping the sh- no. stuffing out of him. Oh, um, you almost said a bad word. Yeah, well, trust me, when we play some of these games, I will be playing saying bad words because... Then we have to bleep them because like the rules have changed. I don't care. No, I don't care. Like, like, if I do. If we play something with 100 people getting chainsawed to death, I'm going to use a swear word. Because we won't be able to use that. F- I don't know if we'll be allowed to use that footage. No, we will. We just won't be monetized. But we're not monetized as it is. So what's the problem? One day, one day we will be monetized. So, uh, so um, yeah. I just I had so much fun just making fun of the game and playing about with its mechanics. Like there was one part where you walk past a crowd of people who are being spoken to by an employee of this company that's not treating them very well. He said, like, as long as you use the equipment, fine. Yeah, as in t- as instructed, you'll be safe. As opposed to me, I just watched a guy get like crushed using a piece of equipment because he, they just it's it's set in um, Victorian London, so they don't respect like human rights, basically. Yeah. So I pushed open this big outer door to see the guy in this sort of like courtyard between the uh, buildings talking to this crowd of people about getting future employment, and I what I just picked up one of the guys I just killed, walked up behind him and threw the guy over his platform, over the little wall that was between him and the other people, and down into the crowd of people. And we were sitting there watching this, and we thought, oh, we were laughing our heads off. We were like, oh, they're not reacting. And then all you heard was, ah, ah, 
that and this crowd just ran in the opposite direction right <laughs> so i've cleared the place out but the guy giving the speech keeps giving the speech <laughs> There's nobody listening to him anymore. They've all legged it, but he's still going, you there, sir, you could have a job in here. And it's just so... It's, so it's like funny. a... Yeah, it sounds like it. It's just... It, I remember I did something very similar in Black Flag, which was yeah. a game before Unity, where uh, I was playing... It was like 2013, I was playing at uh, James Gray's house, a uh, friend of the channel, James Gray. And um, he... We were just wandering around on this pier, and I walked up to a fisherman and I bumped into him and he fell in the water and didn't come back out. <laughs> now, I don't think they're supposed to do that. I think they're supposed to come back out. Yeah. But he didn't come back out. So I walked up to the next guy and pushed him in and he didn't come back out either. So this was the original <laughs> like PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 release, not the ported one to the, 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 the generation we have now. Yeah. And we were laughing our heads off. So we just spent the whole like half an hour running around bumping people into the water just to have them go hey what are you doing and then they fall in the water and then don't come back now some of them might have because i don't think they were supposed to just disappear and some of them might have come back but we didn't care anymore we were just laughing our heads off imagining these people getting pushed into this watery oblivion this aquatic maw of destruction yes and we just were laughing our heads off it was incredible <laughs> and i haven't felt like that playing an assassin's creed game since black flag so basically i didn't feel like that way playing unity unity just didn't have any of that fun stuff in it so to have that happen already i'm actually quite enjoying it that's good also the characters that you play as you play as two characters and you swap between them a pair of twins a male and a female yeah the characters are better than the character you are in unity which is a shame because they could have done something with that character but they just made him a bit they you won't understand this but i feel like they tried to etzio him, him up a bit and it doesn't work it, it doesn't it doesn't work at all so yeah i just think they've done a better job it just seems like a lot of fun so i'm going to play through that that's good sounds like you're having a really really good time which is anyway. i'm happy about thank you we shall move on to these stories that's story time the stories the stories so did we do this with german techno punk no <laughs> stop please <laughs> that's not me speaking fake german i'm just making random noises okay so, Just in case somebody thought I was being a racist. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. So this week we were this week we were given more information on what are you, what are you making stop making noises. Stop it. <laughs> on you go. You're the one who wants me to read these out. Go and hurry up, right? This is getting ridiculous. How long do you want? This week we were given more information on a new console by Microsoft, the Xbox Series S. <gasps> S for snakes. Uh, what? Sometimes when I say X and S, they kind of sound the same. Right, so you don't mean that they actually call it the Xbox Series Snakes? No, right. just me. So what's the Series S like, and is it worth buying over the Series X? The answer is all depending on the bu on your budget, and stop editing the story as I read it, please. That was helpful. I took out the bit that was hindering you. After I read it. Yeah, well, I couldn't do it beforehand, could I? The answer is all depending on the budget and what you want out of your gaming experience. It has been announced that the Series S is going to be priced at £249, whereas the Series X will be £200 more at £449. For gamers on a budget, this is definitely something to consider, but like I said, it all depends on the experience the player actually wants to have. If I can just pop in there. Yes. I would say that this is quite a smart move by Xbox. Yeah. So it was something that uh, Brian pointed out. He said that what you've basically done there is you've given parents on the approach to Christmas on COVID year, because this is the year of COVID. Yeah. The ability to buy their kids a cheaper console, a next generation, a next generation console for two hundred and fifty. Yeah, but like I said, there's some stuff you need to consider. I want to know as well. Does it have a disc drive? It does not. Ah. I will not be getting that. Continue. So Continue. the Series S and Series X will both be sporting a AMD Zen 2 CPU chip and an AMD RDNA 2 GPU. However, when you look further into it, you can see the reason for the drop in price. The actual GPU chip is substantially weaker in the Series S, or sorry, substantially less powerful in the Series S than the Series X. For the Series X is going to have a 12.15 and i don't know 12. how to 0.15 sorry as a as a 
a scientist. scientist. So point one five. Yeah, uh, and I called it a T flop, but I don't think that's actually what it is. Teraflop. Teraflop. So it's going. So the X is going to have a twelve point one five teraflops, and the S is only going to have four teraflops. Now the Xbox S, the Series X, sorry, has a storage of one terabyte, whereas the S only has five and five hundred and twelve gigabytes of storage. Mm, that's not. That's not enough. I can. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get, a, I'll, yeah. I'll get. I'll get more into it. And the performance of the X has actually got a 4K rendering re- resolution, whereas the Series S only has a 140, 1440. 1440p. Is what yeah, sorry. Thinking. I was trying to work out how to say that. I've written it down. I forgot how to say it. Now, the storage is understandable as the Series S is actually physically a lot smaller than the X. The S is going to be roughly around the same size as a Xbox One X. So that's something to consider. Now, there has also been some more confusion over the backwards compatibility of the console of the Series S, sorry, but Microsoft have now given a bit more clarification on the subject. The Series S will have uh, its own enhancements, its own style of enhancements and type of backwards compatibility and not use the Xbox One X's enhancements. This could be down to the fact that the Series S has a 1440p rating, whereas the Xbox One X has 4K. Right, so essentially what you're saying is that it's got a different emulator built in. Yeah. That's basically it. It has a different emulator built in, which means that it, um, pardon me, it means that it, it runs separate. Sort of like the Xbox One X has specific enhancements for games. If you look through backwards compatible games, it'll say, or even not the current gen, it'll say Xbox One X enhanced. Yeah. Basically, the S doesn't have those enhancements, and it's the same here. The Series X will have enhancement software and hardware, that are most likely software, that the Xbox Series S will not have. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different things that if you go on, you can actually have a look at for a much more in-depth comparison. We can only give the highlights because obviously we are on a time frame here. But if you want to go in and have a look, if you like Google the S Series S specs, then you can have a better look at it yourselves. But So I've got a few things here. Yeah. So the inherent resolution of the S is 1440p, but it then uh, it then after the resolution, it, it goes through processing and upscales to 4K. Yeah, but the Series X goes from 4K and upscales to 8K. Yeah. And when it comes to the actual pieces, so from what I'm able to see here, the the the, the CPU is slightly less powerful. It's also the it's not a Zen 2, I think it's just a Zen 2, but um it's slightly less powerful the CPU on the S. It's yeah. 3.6 as opposed to 3.8. I mean, it's always going to be less both octa core. It's always going to be G- less Sorry. So the GPU, just to finish off, is it's four teraflops as opposed to twelve. Yeah. And it's one point eight gigahertz. So it's twelve teraflops, uh, one point eight gigahertz for the uh, GPU in the X, and it's four teraflops at one point five five. Yeah. Uh, and the RAM, I don't know if the RAM is mentioned here. Uh, Sixteen gigabyte of DDR6 RAM for the X and. 10 gigabytes so it's it is a grade down it's a yeah. substantial grade down in some ways and also it doesn't have a disc tray like i said i i, mm. I don't believe it does it's all either no, you download or you stream yes yeah, so basically that's what that is it's the streamers console that's really the way to look at it yeah if you're a hardcore gamer and you have the money obviously no disrespect to anybody who doesn't because 450 is a lot no disrespect at all but you wouldn't get the s over the x no. Would you get an S over the One X, though? That's also a question. Yes. You would get an S over the X, the One X. I, you know how they said that the Series S will have a different upgrade from the Series X when it comes to um, yeah. the enhancements for certain games, especially backwards compatibility? Yeah. I, I would need to know if the Series S can do what the X can do. I don't think it can. Yes, that's my point. Because they've not clarified that, and also if you're if you're going back to play backpack games, a lot of them for me are disc versions of games. Yeah. I can't really be trying to shove a disc in an S when it doesn't have a disc tray. Yeah. So I would probably save my money and go for the um, go for the Series X. Yeah. But you're probably worth waiting a year, maybe two, a year for it to be announced, maybe two, because they will then come back and say, "Oh, we've come up with the Series One XX two." 1729 
potato uh, and that's saying even more powerful I know this is like I'm not looking at getting a console this year like I just can't afford it no that's, that makes perfect sense and also my Xbox One X is working fine and there's loads of games I've still not played on that thing so I don't yes. see the point in I've got an Xbox One S yeah me too um I don't think I've missed it. The only thing is that I'm reluctant to play something like KOTOR when it has um, such a strong... It's such a good game. You want to play it at its best and it does have specific enhancements for the X. But I have been thinking about that, right? Yeah. And Sorry, what I've okay. decided... No, thanks. I'm just so entertaining. <laughs> I suppose I didn't sleep properly. It might be worth, if, especially if we can get it on sale, getting copies of it for the PC. And we could cast the if we find a way of screen sharing you could sh while recording you could cast your screen to me because yeah. the pc will obviously be as enhanced as possible yeah i need to utilize my my, my monitor because i've not properly used it for gaming yet mm -hmm. so i just think that might be worth doing um because i think one of the games we could definitely play and get like hundreds of hours of videos out of would be the old republic yeah yeah so i think that it would be it would be something to look into Okay. To get in those games and playing them, uh, but see, that's the thing. I've, I, for me, Kotor. We've is we've, an Xbox diver game. we've 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 diverted no, 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 too far. I'm just saying. I think that Kotor for me is an Xbox game. No, I've never played it on PC. Unlike all my friends, I played it on Xbox because my PC couldn't handle it at the time. Yeah. So that would be interesting, but I think it's worth looking into. So we've just got one small story to finish off with today. Sorry, I'm taking no, back control. I'm taking back control. No, let's sum that story up first essentially the s is quite it's it's, it's reasonably so substantially less powerful it is weaker it's also got no disc tray it's got less hard drive space so they've cut down on it quite a bit it's a budget xbox series but it's for people who i think the great advantage is that you can buy a next generation console for your kids at christmas for much cheaper and i applaud that if but it I was like a target sorry i was just gonna say i think the target audience is streamers yeah also, if it's, if you if you're just like start like bulk standard starting to get into gaming, it might be a good entryway into gaming possibly for consoles. Aye, for sure, yeah, definitely much more palatable two fifty over four fifty. Yeah. Um, especially the controls price like sixty quid and the games at sixty quid. Yes, it's. It way looks more strange. Palatable. It what? kind of reminds me of like a speaker. It looks like a speaker. Yeah, I don't like the look of it. I I, I don't like the look. But anyway, it, my point is that it, it's much more palatable, and I would have to say that I think that um the other ones targeted at streamers. Is Xbox trying to move towards basically selling Game Pass subscriptions so that people in the future can stream a, co a game to their television and just pick up a controller and go for it? But like 10 years ago, there was this huge conversation about whether or not PCs were going to be gaming platforms for much longer or whether or not they were going to just gaming, you know, like high end gaming PCs were just going to fall apart because the consoles were getting so good. Yeah. Well, that never happened. Everybody, people still buy high-end gaming PCs. It, it, it didn't fall apart like people expected it to, and I don't expect this to be to be any different. I think that the the the, the they will expand. You know that this they will have that streaming service that people can stream to whatever they want to play the game. But hardcore gamers are still going to want. You know, like I don't want to stream no, Halo do I. Five. I want to install it and play it. I do not want to stream it. No. I, the performance drop will always be significant. You can't have streaming as good as downloaded, installed and ready to go play on a gaming PC or even on a console. You just can't have it. It's just not going to work. And you're going to have the gamers who just want that piece of hardware, who just want to sit and play an installed game. There's going to be some people who are always going to want that physical copy over the digital. You just can't. Yeah. I don't think it's viable and I don't think they will choose to cut those people out. I think they will always cater to them and I think that's what this is. It's it's a catering to the split in the audience between the general casual gamer who's perfectly welcome. Don't I'm not one of those people who thinks you're a casual get out. You know, they're perfectly welcome. Those people who take it who who get much more enjoyment out of it take it a lot more seriously and those people will always want that little thing that device there that installation of a game so they know it's going to run as best as possible and you, you taking that away is never going to work no so i don't think they will i think that's what this is it's a splitting to cater to two audiences and i think it's actually if you look at the fact that they've also been working out a deal so the game pass will include ea play hold on that's the story we're moving okay, hold on stop 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 and if you actually take into account the story that we're going to be talking about next you can see a pattern where xbox 
they don't have the games for the release of their new console. So they're going around that to make other choices. Yes. Make it more palatable for consumers. And uh, I think that PlayStation don't necessarily need to step up to this. They've got the first party exclusives. They've got the exclusives like sewn up at the moment. The next year, year or two is going to be all about the PlayStation games. A lot of people who have been buying Xboxes you know, when they re- they choose between them, are going to be buying a PlayStation yeah. Five, and that I know of. I think it's but because this is a, sorry, this is a way of splitting them, of separating them. This is a way that Xbox can not get absolutely destroyed in a direct comparison. Yeah, and I think that's quite smart. Yeah. So, like Tommy said, the second story we have, well, the only other story we have for you today, uh, relates back to the streaming thing. So, Microsoft have announced that soon, along with the purchase of an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and uh, Game Pass Xbox Game Pass PC, that EA Play will now be included with them. No extra, co- at no extra cost or anything, or at least it seems like that at the moment. This means that over 60 games, including Mass Effect and Battlefield, will be included in this deal as well. At present, this collaboration is set to launch this holiday which I guess means this is going to be the start of November or early November. Uh, I can't believe how close we actually are to those months already. It was kind of scary to realize that. Uh, Some of these game titles on EA Play will also be available on Android. So Microsoft and EA are teaming up. Yeah. Um, So when you said PC, does that mean it's not on the Game Pass that just comes to the console? So I was just having a look at looking up on if it was just for PC or if it was for the console and what is the article i've read is is that e, um the addition of ea play to both xbox game pass ultimate and xbox game pass for pc tiers right so not the normal one it has to be either pc or both it can't just be the xbox yeah right and also it said 60 games yeah i don't think that's all of the games that are on it um because i think a lot of or all ea games because i think a lot of ea games are just cheaper if you have ea play as opposed to uh, they're all available. Well, the re- the thing I've read said it had 60 games uh, that would be playable. Yeah, so it will probably have 60 games that are playable, but like EA have released hundreds of games, so most likely the rest will be discounted. Like, I doubt very much that Star Wars game is on it, but it might be discounted. Okay. So it's interesting. And it might yeah. be... this. The, the reason that this has happened is because possibly, like you were saying, because of the Series S. Uh, yeah. yeah that, that, because they they're, going to, they're going to the, coincide with each other. Yeah. I mean, there's also the fact that because the uh, Xbox have announced their release date, Valhalla, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla has announced its release date to be the same as the Xbox One Series X. Yeah. So essentially, it doesn't have that as exclusive for a wee while unless PlayStation say, oh, we're coming out at the same time. So like they, they, they don't have the raw exclusives. They don't have the raw release lineup that PlayStation 5 have. Yeah. So they're going down a different route, and I can respect that. Because last time they went down a different route from PlayStation and it was anti-consumer. This seems to be pro-consumer. So I can't really... I know it's a deal with EA and I despise EA, but it's still a good deal for consumers. So I can't really hate them for that. No. They just have to make sure that they're constantly pro-consumer and not paternal to the consumer. Oh, we've made the decision that we're not going to have this anymore. It's all going to be digital streaming Game Pass stuff. No. That's an option. It's not 100% of what we're doing, okay? So they've got to keep it pro-consumer. But these yeah. steps it, by themselves are okay as long as they don't go down the wrong path afterwards. No, we don't want um, it all to be digital or streaming. That's for sure. No. no, I mean, I love digital, don't get me wrong. But no, it can't all be just digital. No. So that's yeah. all the stories we have for you today. Mm-hmm. And we hope that you've enjoyed listening to us. I may have yeah. forgotten what I had my microphone on earlier and started eating a piece of popcorn while Tommy was talking. So if you heard that, I apologize. That's fine. I mean, I've been drinking juice the whole way through it and you've probably heard me just uh, glugging I've it I've not out. actually. I've not heard you. So, oh, Tommy. <laughs> uh, it's fine. We can edit it out. No, I'm not. <laughs> I've been farting the whole way through it. I can't believe you've not picked what? that up. What? I'm definitely not cutting that bit out. <laughs> oh, stop it. So we hope you have enjoyed listening to us and you've enjoyed all of this and sorry for him. Followed through. Oh, geez, so. <laughs> I 
didn't. I you didn't. can find I us at over on. You can find us on Facebook at Overshadow Shadowcast. You can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail All that information is going to be left in the description box below. You, you can, can link, like you can, the video. You yep. can subscribe to the channel. You can hit that notification bell. If you hit that like, it really helps with the algorithm. Apparently, you can also leave a comment. Leave a comment. That'd be great. Like any stories you wanted to discuss, or anything you feel like we've missed out. Anything you want to comment at all, please just do yeah. so. Like an aspect of the story we might not have come up with because we are not all seeing and all knowing and all powerful. No. Nope. Uh, or something that you disagree with, or even if you just agree with us but agree with us for a different reason or in a different way, or just want to say your piece, go ahead. Yes. So all that's left for really to do is to say thank you for listening and that I hope you You're guys welcome. will come back next week. I, I do. I do hope that. Goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs>